Hello, welcome. Beginning of another trip. We're gonna be headed out in the Clay Elm area to do some camping. Give me a second. Hi, welcome to Taco Time. Okay, We'll do a number 11 meal with a Coke. How much do I got beef, chicken, or pickle beans? Uh, beef. Beef, okay. Anything else? That'll do it. Would you like any hot sauce, pickle beans, or such? No, thanks. Alright, your total will be. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be headed up to the lake and doing some camping. Should be some fun wheeling up there. And uh, yeah, we got more of a crew with us. This is our yearly traditional thing. So if you look back on my channel, we've done this a few times. I think only once on camera and then three more times before. But it's, it's one of my favorite spots I always come back to. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome to visit. I don't know if I would live here, and I don't know what I would do for work, but I really like how quaint and small this town is. Very nice. I think October is when they start to close. Oh, for a snow park, so I guess, I guess this turns into like a snowmobile town. Yeah, it's still, I'm pretty sure it's still booming. I mean, I've stayed at the Sun Cadian Resorts nearby, and uh, there's still a lot of people that come out here in the winter. I'm going to 15 just for lap of luxury. <laughs>
Well, you made it. Where the narrow body comes. <laughs> you could try and keep going forward. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Ooh, slow, slow. Oh my god. <laughs> god, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Ranger danger. <laughs> Two and a half inches? Two inches? Yeah. You're gonna bump up on this and it'll put you closer to the tree a little bit. Nice.
wish I brought a tape measure. <laughs> ah, what is this, Stance Nation? Look at that tuck. You gotta tie her down on this side. That is so much, so much gap on this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you have so much positive camera. <laughs> Off road. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the same, if not more, gap than yours. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. Rock a bye, baby, <laughs> in the Land Rover. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> this traction control system is awesome. All right, all the brakes. <laughs> I might need a stone. Because I don't know how to do it. start the camera and I stop my momentum and <laughs> now you guys are probably laughing at me. I definitely laughed. Alright, hill climb and two wheel drive. Let's see if we can do it. I just noticed for the first time ever, and I've been on this trail five times, there's an old cabin on the right, halfway up. I'm, I'm gonna check this out as soon as I get to the top. Alright, that's it. <laughs> I gave up, I grabbed four low. I hope I didn't tear it up too much. Definitely smells like rubber everywhere. <laughs>
big rock right there. ever going to do this in the future but if I do something like a geocache and I don't tell the location but the I'll hide something on the trail like I don't know if it'll be like money or something <laughs> this is where I'm going to put it <laughs> just don't hurt yourself on the nails and stuff yeah man this is not far away from being a, a home like we still got walls yeah, just need a roof. yeah. what was this though who did what in here well, I see a, a pedigree <laughs> dog food bag. Oh, look at those nails. Some glass. Who's spending the night here? and then figure out what we have for uh, spots here. Do you want me that close to you? <laughs> <laughs> smell that smell it <laughs> oh there's no footage of camp set up but yeah we're here now everyone's alive everyone's happy eating This was how the new Land Rover Defender was born. <laughs> <laughs> $20 a 
for breakfast. <laughs> so we have uh, some samples of gold here. <laughs> so you can see as I start to wash it away, it's gonna start to reveal itself in that right corner there. out right there so then you have to push it up and then kind of tap it and it all kind of disappears in the top corner there. That's cool. Thanks for showing that. Up. There's gold in them hills. <laughs> Thank you guys. where it's a little bit more technical driving um, and stuff and you're trying to get you know a group or whatever up there I feel like if people saw videos like that where people are like explain why they do it and yeah. stuff and I people be like that really relates to me especially if you get a group of like 
you know, six or seven people together. And since there's people that are joining that I've never met before, and they've like, I want to do all this. I want to go to these spots and I want to do this camping. And then they see like, oh, these are the people in normal circumstances just talking. Like they feel more comfortable coming out and yeah, they see how friendly people are. Yeah. Like the meet and greet, there's a few people there I've never met before. The three guys that were with us earlier today, um, before the Tonga Ridge trip, I've never met before. And it was interesting because they're like, oh, I, was, I was asking, uh, how the heck did you guys meet each other? Because I was like, <laughs> Oh, Tonga Ridge was the first time we've met each other too. I'm like, what? I thought you guys were like this. <laughs> and then they, and then they just hang out together. Right? Yeah, yeah, now they're like every single trip that we've done, all three of them came out. Yeah, they're like mm -hmm. the buddies. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And then Yasser's like a lone wolf, so I don't know. He's just yeah. kind of tags along. He's oh, he's like, uh, he's the one with the FJ. He loves this kind of stuff, I can yeah. tell, because he's every time uh, he was upset, like, I mean, he was sad that he couldn't come to this yeah. one, but like every single chance he tries to come. That would have been cool if he could because he is like that. He's very like. Um, purposeful in what he does and I feel like he'd really like have a good answer for that question he'd be a good one to ask that question he's always asking good questions like <laughs> when we were at lunch at that great Port Gamble restaurant and he turned to Jeremy and he's like so why are you getting married to Jordan <laughs> he was like oh, put you on the on spot, spot. Yeah. that's awesome <laughs> what kind of questions he had he was cool that's about funny. <laughs> I, I loved your answer too that was funny <laughs> She make me feel good. <laughs> like, say this at the that wedding. What you said? <laughs> no, I was like, I'm gonna be the stupidest answer at the wedding. Like, the vows about me like you, but like, I just embarrassed myself in front of it. You just lose all the words. Yeah. You make me Can't happy speak. <laughs> You'll <smile>. complete me. <laughs> at our home and at everyone's home. So how many group members are you up to now? <laughs> uh, over 300 now, I yeah, think. It's uh, like 350 last time I checked. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. It started off as like, I started making videos because I really liked the summary of the trip. To go back to a video and just look at the... It's nice to have a library of all those trips you can look back on and the people that you were on that trip with. Um, and so what what is explore pnw about um so if people find this on youtube or if it, they come from another you know our facebook group shows up as a recommended page to a lot of the toyota the jeep pages so there's exposure there people are joining in and there's people that might not know a lot of people that go off-roading for me especially before 2016 i never never been off-roading never had an off-road truck before because i didn't have anybody to go with mm -hmm. yeah so we had like we slowly started building up people to go with and i think that's the nice thing about like the people that might find the videos or find our group having like a media medium that like people can join us and start doing this kind of stuff and the community itself on the page too is really open and like I don't I feel like every time I see that there's a post there's already comments on it like I don't feel like I have to like jump in and be like hey can someone step in on this question and people are just so like willing to answer anybody's questions yeah. and I think it's a cool the purpose of it I think part of it is to have a group a facilitated group where all levels can come and find community with each other and learn more about different trails that they might be interested in going on and get to know people they can trust on future trails and trips. People. New people. <laughs> I'd like to get to the point where it's like self-sustaining yeah. and I don't have to be there to schedule. Um, oh, when's the next event? Like, I'd like the people. I'd like people post to post events. and like, hey, is anybody free this weekend? Because I want to go hit a trail. People yeah. do that. There yeah. are. Mm -hmm. I'll still do the. I'll still do the public thing because it's cool to get. I don't know how much people weigh the the video aspect of it, but it, it it's it's cool to do those at least once a month, do like a, a public thing. Mm -hmm. The videos are super cool because they are not only document it for us so we can remember a trip, but they can also provide a little bit of education for folks who want to know about the trail or the, the destination or whatever. So I think the videos are gold. So for each one of you, what's what's your motivation for? being an admin in the group like what are you what what are your goals for the group Ooh, that's a good question. 
I'll go first because I have a bunch of ideas. <laughs> I I just am an admin because Sam was sweet enough to make me an admin, but and I've been a pa passenger for all these trips. But I think it'd be really cool. Like I I'm always thinking of ideas to like have themed meetups. Like if it's singles night or whatever, like singles get together or like it's um, all I girls. Know, like, I don't know of any group that does that. So that is <laughs> it would be so fun. And like I said, it'd probably be mostly guys that show up, which would be kind of a bummer, but it would be cool to have something like that. And like, there aren't a lot of females in this world. Like I'm constantly grateful when I see another girl on the trail and like, it's just, there's just different things that we have to like, you know, do. So it'd be cool to have like a girl's trip or whatever. Um, so for me as an admin, I'd love to like help facilitate that kind of thing. I, I could see this group going really far just because of how quickly it's grown and like how well Sam does these videos. Like we all have our own strengths. Like Madison's really good at coordinating the trips, it seems like. Um, so that's my, my thoughts on it. I don't know why I'm an admin. <laughs> just because I'm You're OG. <laughs> I don't have shit. Yes, you do. You're the well, founding father. Look at all the crazy stuff he has on the cruise. Well, like you're always doing stuff. I just, you know, I think it's cool to help people grow and I mean it's something that I really enjoy doing is you know being up on trips like this and I mean I just came up by myself didn't expect to meet anyone and I'm in a I'm a part of an overlanding group called Northwest Overland but I mean I just like to see other groups and you know where they're going and like to see people grow and I feel like you know, sometimes I have good ideas for possible footage um, and things to record. Like, everyone wants to know, like, you know, what is the group? What, who are these people? What is their motivation behind doing Why this? <laughs> what, who are these people that I'm going up with for the first time ever? Yeah. Yeah. And some people are a little sketched out about yeah. that. They're like, who are these people? Yeah. I don't know if I want to go up and camp with a random group of people because. I don't know anything about them, yeah, but I feel like, like with some footage... What trail are they going to get me on? And yeah. Yeah. Be able to do it? And what are yeah. they going to do once we get up there? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you never know. People have those thoughts. I, I mean, would, especially as like a female overlander. If I had my own rig, I'd be like, I wouldn't know where to, where to start with community. Because there just aren't a lot of females out there doing this. Well, if someone posted and they have no idea like who you are yeah. as, like say, a leader of one of the group events... Yeah. Um, how comfortable are they going to be with that without knowing who you are and like what, what, your, what, your, what your motivation is behind it and what your goals are for it, you know? Yeah. So I just feel like stuff like that is really good footage and for people to just get to know you so they could watch that video before they even went on a trip yeah. with you mm -hmm. so they kind of get an idea like am I going to relate with this person at all? Like what are they... I mean, it could even get into, like, what are some of your hobbies or stuff like that, too. Yeah. It just depends, you know, people people really like to relate with other people in some way, yeah. even if it's just one thing, you know. Mm -hmm. People, a lot of people really like good, good positive connection with yeah. people. Is this a positive person? Is yeah. this person going to be a downer when yes. I go and yes. camp with them? Or are they going to motivate me to you know, reach my goals, yeah. whether it be with off-roading or mm -hmm. like just Freaking random skills. goals in life. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Okay. So then you guys just came together and had kind of an idea of what you sort of wanted to do and then just mm -hmm. kind of started it. Well, Sam started to explain it. Like it was a Facebook messenger group. Yeah. Just as like a giant Among friends. Thread. Yeah. Just wanted to organize trips. Yeah, I, I I thought it'd be a nice like comfortable place to join in, watch at a distance if they want to at first, and just pick their the trip they want to join on. Um, but yeah, I guess if you had anything to add on, I'm just a lurker. <laughs> I keep an eye on things. I, but... I have to add on. You are so much more worth that because you have all these crazy like contraptions oh. that you look into and you engineer and you make. And they make yeah. our trips so much easier. A lot of research for myself. For the, sure, but that's the DIY share. stuff's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I think that's your specialty. I like to contribute what I can. Yeah. I'm around, always there. <laughs> Lurking. Shadows. <laughs>
taller now. <laughs> it's like it's We just packed up and we're headed out. Say bye, Jeremy. <laughs> Jordan. And Nick. Nick. <laughs> All right, signing off. Few bigger rocks over here you're gonna crawl over but yeah you can turn it hard this way if you want how's that rock looking underneath though um i'll watch your rear tire come over you're about to hit it nice clear <laughs> the alien <laughs> second gear this time. There's a 
big rut right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to give it the beans. <laughs> Come passenger, straight. Now, really slow on the downside because I'm just afraid the rock will rotate up. Okay. You got a little bit of a drop on this side. All right, slow. I think so. We're, we're right at where the, the big clearing is when you see this view, if you take the regular trail. Ran one parked. <laughs> Let's see what this thing's got for an engine, eh? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought they removed the steering wheel, but they 